All my Vietnam veterans, welcome home. Germany, good night. All my active duty military personnel that's downrange, good night. It is now time for Big Sarge's Article 15. And then let's start off by saying this. I don't know when you all, and when I say you all, let's just say you all, that's everybody included, are going to realize Waffle House is not the place. Like, I don't like eating at Waffle House because I'm an IHOP person. I like IHOP. I'm not a Waffle House person. On top of that, I don't see IHOP on World Star, uh, World Star Hip Hop videos. I don't ever see anything about IHOP going viral until they changed their name to IHOP at that one point, International House of Burgers, which was a big fail. Stick the pancakes. But every time I look around, somebody getting beat up at the Waffle House. A man broke in and cooked his own dinner at, I mean, cooked his own breakfast when he was drunk at the Waffle House. When I go, when the, the, the couple of times that I have been to the Waffle House, I don't know if I'm sitting at the roaches table or if the roaches are sitting at my table. Plus, I don't want to be that close to where my food is being cooked. Like, I don't know when are you all going to realize that the Waffle House ain't the place to be. Like, every time I look up and see something about the Waffle House, it ain't never good. Uh, man falls through Waffle House roof in video and fight customers and runs away. Police are searching, this is according to USA Today, police are searching for a man who fell through the ceiling of a Waffle House and then shoved customers as he ran out of the restaurant. According to the local news site, uh, Times Daily, authorities in Tuscumbia, Alabama, says Wesley Ginn, boast 27, was trying to break into the Waffle House on Sunday when he crawled into the restaurant's ceiling. Surveillance, surveillance video shows both going into the rest, restaurant's bathroom and tying his jeans to the door. He reportedly broke the sink and the toilet trying to get into the ceiling. Then customers watched as the ceiling appeared to cave in and the man fell out, causing a heap of debris to fall on top of a booth table and seen in a video shared on Facebook. He fought through patrons and staff to exit, where he fled the scene. Ah, uh, like, so I want to say that I'm surprised. I really want to say that I'm surprised that this happened at a Waffle House, but I'm not. Like, Waffle House attracts these types of things. And, uh, sir, why would you break into a Waffle House? Like, their food is gross to me, just my opinion. But every time I turn around, it's always something. Somebody's being arrested. There's a fight going on. I've seen two women fighting with no shoes on at the Waffle House. And I'm saying to myself, what kind of ratchet crap is this? I seen a woman getting take, took to jail over a spork. That's a spoon and a fork. All she was asking for was, can she get extra plastic wear? And they called the police. I seen a man go to jail at the Waffle House on video. I seen a man going to jail because he asked them why did they charge him an extra dollar? What good comes out of the Waffle House? Nothing. Y'all better stop going to the Waffle House. And their food is gross anyway. Plus, I don't want, if I'm sitting, if, if I ever get invited to a Waffle House for a meeting or something, or somebody say, let's just go to the Waffle House, and I say, okay, if I'm sitting there and I hear, world star, I'm going to be like, um, excuse me, I left something in the car. When you get that, if you're with me, you better get up and say, I think I did too. Because you know it's about to go down. This man fell through the roof. Through the roof. What was you breaking in trying to steal from the Waffle House? I don't even think the Waffle House accepts anything but EBT cards. Right? That is nothing against people who get EBT. But, right, they only accept EBT. Or the Russell Simmons Rush card. Right? Like, they don't even accept, like, real debit cards at the Waffle House, do they? And their grits are gross. They're so runny. Like, nothing good comes from the Waffle House. You know why you think that is good? Do you know why you all love going to eat at the Waffle House? Because nine times out of ten, you're inebriated. So anything is going to taste good. All you want is food. 
All you want is food. So you all rush to the Waffle House and say, man, I'll tell you, I, I like the Waffle House. The Waffle House got some really good food. Uh, bruh, you had had like 13 drink specials that night. You had 13 $2 cheap liquor drinks. Of course you were hungry. And of course you don't know what good food tastes like. Y'all better stay out them Waffle House. What would you have done if you sitting at your table and all of a sudden a man just fell through the roof and landed on your food? They don't give no refunds either. You just out of luck. You be like, but he fell on my food. That ain't my problem. If you want another country plate, you're going to have to pay $9. Or, uh, child, I don't know what you're going to do. I need to get on my social media anyway. I need to put this. This needs to go viral. World Star! Sports Talk with Big Sarge right here on the legendary KYK and the Y'all New 92.3 FM. Uh, before we get out of here, listen. Vote. It's so important, you all. I cannot express that enough. I cannot stress that enough. Vote. Shout out to all my people who are here from the Cancer, Col uh, Cancer Colon Alliance. I'm on my way to come hang out with you all. Sports Talk with Big Sarge right here on Legendary K Wild Candy, y'all new 92.3 FM. I'm out. Don't nobody else tell you that they love you today. I do. Go vote!